guys welcome to another video in today's video i'm so so super excited because i'll be doing an unboxing for an Alcrave! I've been waiting for this box for so long. I know it's been slightly delayed due to COVID, but it's finally here. This is the Alcrave special edition box of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm just so excited to be unboxing this. I guess without further ado, we'll get straight into the unboxing. I'm just going to open that up. Oh gosh, I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so the first thing we have is the spoiler card, which looks like this. It says, Alcrate presents the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue box in collaboration with V.E. Schwab. And I won't be looking at that for the meantime. The first thing that I see from the box is this enamel pin. It says, a story is an idea, wild as a weed. So that is what it looks like got like a rose gold sort of design and it's got the moon and stars and some little weeds growing it's beautiful oh the dreaded paper stringies they're the death of me seriously oh gosh I have nowhere to move this okay I'm just gonna leave it here I'm already dreading cleaning this paper off the floor the next thing is in this black box I wonder what it is oh my gosh this looks like a Ouija board thingamajig what is this oh my god <laughs> totally not this is something very very practical as a reader so it's a wooden ring page holder place your thumb within the wooden ring to help keep the pages of your book open for easier do you see this do you see okay i need to get a book where's the book wait 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 wait, wait. this can be oh my gosh okay I'm not used to this, I guess. My hands feel very uncomfortable doing this though. Unless I have it like at the tip, like that. Or maybe like this. The wooden ring kind of left marks on the pages. So I don't know about that, but the design on it is really pretty. It says once upon a time and it's got these stars and weeds and whatnot. I'll just do a close up so you can see. Do you see that? It's so pretty. The next thing we have is a candle, of course. I love candles. This is called The Darkness. And of course it's The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue's exclusive edition candle it's got forest earth wood smoke and night whatever that means oh my gosh this is a scent that i most definitely enjoy and it has a wooden um wick or whatever you call it it does have a very fresh woodsy smell it's kind of masculine so that's what it looks like the candle it's got like a wooden um, wick. Um, okay, so moving on, the next thing we have is in this um, cute little box. It says, the last word, travel mug. Ooh, it's a travel mug. Can never have too many of those. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, all right. I've been meaning to get one of these. This one is the one where you have the tea, so you can put tea in it. This is going to be handy for sure. I was actually gonna buy one of these with the tea, um, what is it, diffuser inside. This one is so cute. It says, the last word, books bought and sold at Queens, New York since 1956. And on the back, it has a quote, it says, books she has found are a way to live a thousand lives or to find strength in a very long one so cute it's so handy i'll definitely be using this for work especially i'm excited Ooh, the next thing is in this box and it says how oh, great addy's perpetual wooden calendar oh okay okay let's let's open this up i'm excited <laughs> Ooh, you know what? More than anything, the box is like really pretty. <laughs> and it just looks like that. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. The stand 
looks like this. It says, life can feel very long sometimes, but in the end it goes so fast. And it's just like a little quote on this stand. My workplace has one of these. It's like a Christmas calendar. Basically, it's kind of like a calendar so you can kind of um, change the dates on this and then like kind of change the day or the month. There's a few more of these. Um, so I'm assuming that the other ones go behind it. So the main one will be showing the date. Um, this is not today's date. That is actually so cute. My workplace has like a Christmas version of that um, wooden calendar thing. Um, I just think it's just very aesthetically pleasing to look at. I really like those calendars. It's better than those paper ones where you can only use it for one year and then be done with it. This one you can just use it in whichever year. No way! There's the Spotify playlist and then we've got some Addy LaRue photo challenges. Cute! Okay, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the next thing is a notebook. It says, what a luxury to tell one story, to be read remembered. And it's just got these moon and stars. I thought it was going to be a notebook but it's literally like a journal starting from 2021 and it goes for three years so I guess on each day you can write like a little sentence of what happened that day I suppose. This is something that I'm pretty bad at. Over the years I have purchased like two or three diary kind of things like this and I don't keep up with it and I kind of wish that I could because this is a three year diary thing. At least every year when you go back to January you can see what you wrote the previous year. I always thought that concept was pretty cute and I don't know. I'm just lazy though. I'm really lazy when it comes to journaling and diary entries and whatnot and so yeah. But it starts from next year, so I'm probably going to start using it. Hopefully I maintain it. I should like keep it next to my laptop so then I'm at least going to write something on each day. Um, and it's just a sentence. Man, it's not that hard. Anyway, okay, so we've come to the final thing, which is the book, and it is glorious. So I will actually try and remove the... <laughs> Do I have scissors? Oh, lucky. I have scissors. I'm always so scared to like cut. <gasps> okay, good, good, good. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is um, one of those dust jacketless card bags, and I must say it is beautiful. But it's black, so I have a feeling if I get sweaty hands, the black might transfer on <laughs> my hands. It happens. Does that not happen to some of you guys where you've got like the dust jacket off and if it's black, like it transfers onto your fingers when your hands are sweaty? But let's have a look at this cover. It's so beautiful. I heard so many good things about this book. And then on the back, it has this beautiful little quote. It says, never pray to the gods that answer after dark. And it's beautiful. It's rose gold, it's stunning, the inner pages, beautiful, there's like a metallic sheen. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So it says printed exclusively for our crate. Why does that remind me of the Ring of Power from Lord of the Rings? I don't know. This is so exciting. So the thing is, I know like V Schwab is quite popular in the booktube community. But she's also hit and miss. Like, a lot of people kind of think that her books are okay or bad. And so she's kind of very hit and miss kind of author. The only two books that I've read from V.E. Schwab is uh, This Savage Song and... What is it? Our Dark Duet. Um, so that was a duology that she wrote. And I really enjoyed it, but I also kind of understand why people were a bit like half-half about that duology as well. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. However, this book sounds so, so good. It's kind of like almost tragic in a way. I've also been hearing like really good things about this book as well. So I don't know. If you guys don't really know what the synopsis of this book is, it basically follows Addie LaRue and she's an immortal. She makes a deal with this dark 
entity like hundreds of years ago and so she has been living for a few centuries all the way until the modern day I think I, I believe I believe you're following her from like when she first makes the deal and then follows her throughout her life until modern day she's given immortality but it's a curse because anyone she comes in contact with forgets her. So she's kind of roaming around in the world, living forever, and anyone she comes in contact with immediately forgets her as soon as they walk away from her, which is kind of a very depressing and lonely life that she lives. And then along comes a person one day who remembers her. And that's kind of pretty much all I know about the story and that's all I kind of want to know. It kind of has a very interesting setup. I always love when there's stories about like a character that kind of wishes something and it's granted but then there is this kind of curse that comes with it and so yeah this is something that I'm very very intrigued by and so yeah I'm so excited it definitely feels like more of a winter or to me read but I kind of want to dive into it soon so I might before this year ends I hope that I start this book like it's this and a deadly education those two books that I really really want to get to but yeah this is so beautiful like the way it's structured I kind of love the simplified cover it's not much different from the original cover but I don't know and this quote I don't know the shiny rose gold sheen metallic embossing beautiful and I don't know I really want to get straight into reading this so I'm gonna put this aside I pretty much loved everything in this box I guess that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this was one of my most anticipated books for this year and yeah I'm really excited that um, I got all these other bookish goodies on top of the actual book and this is probably Alcrate's most expensive box. I think it was solely because it had a lot more heavier items in it, but I feel like it was very well thought out, very fitting to the book, and um, and yeah, I just love it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful reading week ahead of you. I hope you guys are all keeping safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!